All right, I'm going to attempt to do something that uh, takes most people four days or um, four hours or uh, a few days, depending on how quick they are. But this is a PT Cruiser. It's an 01. If you can hear me over the chickens, uh, I'm going to replace the heater core through the firewall, or at least I'm going to attempt to. Most of the time, you're going to have to take the dash apart. That's what they tell you have to do. But I started by removing the computer, getting it out of the way. And uh, you can see, uh, I guess you can see, this is the, this is where the heater core goes through your firewall. Chrysler could have made this so much easier by just making a little plate right here. Could have made a little plate in the firewall that you could have just unbolted it and pulled that heater core right out through the firewall. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a saw or something, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'll show you when I do. And I'm going to cut a hole here, uh, three sides and bend it back and pull that heater core out of there and uh, then bend it back over and put some silicone around it put the insulation I've already pulled the insulation off but I'll put the insulation back on it and it should be as good as new so uh, this should save us some time I've been at it about uh, five minutes and I've got to the firewall so this should be fairly easy so I'm hoping wish me wish me luck now I'm just showing you it is possible to get your heater core out from the engine side. Heater core is out and on the ground. It ain't pretty, but it beats pulling the dash off and it only took me like uh, probably 35, 40 minutes to get to this point. And there's nothing duct tape and a little silicone can't fix when I go back in with it. All right, later. Okay, the new heater core is in place. Now I took some stuff off just to make it easier. I took the intake off, which is probably six bolts and a couple of hoses. Um, cut the hole big enough to get the thing in. Had to uh, open up the heater box inside so it would go in. But again, there's nothing that a little duct tape and some silicone won't take care of all you have to do is seal that box up and your heater is going to work like brand new I did not have to devacuate my air conditioner this way so I saved a little money like that I've probably been on this thing a whole hour and 15 minutes uh, total so I'm gonna when I close this back up uh, it's pretty much going to disappear behind the intake and your your uh, computer you're not going to see anything if you don't want to make it pretty you can just close it back up and duct tape it duct tape it up. I'm going to cut that piece there, the big piece off, and I'm just going to make me a little plate of a uh, piece of aluminum or a little light piece of steel that I can that'll flex and go in and put some sheet metal screws in it after after I duct tape back up and silicone the uh, heater box. It's pretty much all going to be inside and it's going to go where it's supposed to. Your heat is. Um, so if you want to save a little time and not devacuate your air conditioner and you don't mind cutting your firewall then this is the alternative to getting your heater core out without pulling your dash out this is what happened to the old heater core you can see that the thing just blew apart i don't know what would have made it do that uh the car hasn't run hot or anything she was driving it and uh she pulled into her work parking lot and it just blew up so I don't know whether it's just a defect in those things or not. They probably should have been a recall on them. But, of course, there wasn't. So I'm going to finish this up. And uh, if you want to do this, you can. I just showed you I just showed you it was possible. There it is. I didn't pull the dash. I didn't evacuate the air conditioner. Uh, and the heater core is in there. I've just got to patch everything up now. And I'll probably be three hours total. But to me, that's still a lot easier than pulling the dash and... and uh, going through the headache of all that and having to re-vacuum, re, re uh, air conditioner my air conditioner unit and all that stuff. So, all right, guys, if you want to try it, go for it. You can do it. It's in there. Bye. Okay, going to show you the finished duct work. Uh, if you haven't tried this, this is the easy way, guys, I'm telling you. Uh, that is a piece of, uh, I use a piece of flashing, and that is aluminum tape that they use under your house when they do your air conditioning units and stuff and it will last forever and it's sticky as uh well just don't don't have it where you want it when you stick it because you can't hardly get it off so uh 
I mean, it, it works. I turned the heater on a while ago, and the blower works good. It doesn't come out anywhere. Just make sure you seal up all your leaks, and what little you, you lose, you'll never know. But uh, this is this is this is the flashing right here. Little, just regular flash house flashing. It's a real thin stuff, so you can move, bend it. And I just kind of folded it like this right here, and just stuck it over everything. Just had it long enough to cover everything, and then I used this aluminum tape. And it's some, I'm telling you, it's some good stuff. I've had it on some stuff for 10, 15 years, and it's still there. And uh, you can get it at Lowe's, I'm sure. You get the flashing at Lowe's. It's real cheap. So uh, there it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to box it up. I'm going to finish it up and put me a little cover over it, and I'm done. And I didn't have to pull my dash. I didn't have to pull my airbags. I didn't have to take my battery cable off. All I do, I did pull the intake off the car, which is real simple. You don't have to take, you don't even have to take the, speedometer or anything i mean the uh, speed cable or anything loose you just take the you just take the bolts right out of here these these bolts right here and there's one bolt that holds your egr plug on the back i think it's i think it's something similar to this right here and uh well there there it is right there you take those two bolts off and this thing will just flip right up out of the way and uh it gives you a whole lot more room where you can get in there and get to it and i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna button it up and i'm done and i didn't have to pull the dash i didn't have to de-evacuate my air conditioner so there you go have at it if you if you're if you if you feel like it and uh i forgot to mention if god forbid this ever happens again it won't be near as hard to get to you'll be able to pull that panel right off pull the ductwork off pop your heater core out and you'll be done in 30 minutes all right, guys, thanks again. Okay, it looks so good, I thought I'd show you. It, <coughs> excuse me. It. Um, I just bent that metal back up and just bent everything back around and siliconed it real good, and uh, it looks so good. Time you get the insulation on there and, it's in, and the uh, intake back on, nobody's ever going to even know you were in there. That's pretty cool. All right, thanks again. Okay, it's all done. Back together. Just saw, saw, thought I'd show you what it looked like back together. You can't see where I went through the firewall, even if you're looking for it. So, uh, you know, it may be the way to go. Probably took me about two and a half hours total, and this was my first one. The next one would be a lot quicker if I had to do somebody else's. So, all right, thank you.